body statements, we made about human human relationship. Then we listed down these feelings, right, these nine feelings, starting from trust to respect to affection, and finally to love. Then we try to explain each of these feelings. Okay. Now, if you look at these feelings okay, and try to see, you will realize that what you require to have these feelings in you is just the understanding of these feelings. Right? If you have the right understanding about these feelings, then you will have this feeling in you. You don't have to do anything extra. Just the right understanding of them okay, will ensure this feeling in you. <coughs> for example, if I understand this 1A and 2A is true for me, and if I understand that 3A and 4A is just the reflection of this, right? then I will have trust on intention of every minute. But if I have, gone, I have not understood it, if I have not verified it myself, and if I have just come to assume, then it will not work. That understanding is required, that self-verification, that authentic, you know, self-exploration is required. If that is there, these <coughs> feelings will automatically come. I also said that these feelings are there in the child. We try to, you know, disturb that feeling by way of our preconditioning. So these feelings are natural in us. If we understand these feelings, they will be there in us. Then we said, if these feelings are there in us, right, we can ensure the fulfillment of these feelings. Right, and the role of physical fertility is not there in these nine feelings except the feeling of care. So what we need is the right understanding. If we have the right understanding, we'll have this feeling. If we have this feeling, we can share it with others. Right. This physical facility is not the limitation. The only limitation put by the physical facility is in terms of expressing the feeling of care. Right. So this is what I just call. This is what we have seen. That this is essential to fulfillment in relationship. And all that I need to do for this is to ensure the right understanding of this feeling. <coughs> so if I have the right understanding of this feeling, I will have this feeling. And it will be possible for me to you know, share this feeling, ensure the fulfillment of this feeling, leading to mutual happiness. <coughs> Only for the feeling of care, I need physical facility. And if you look at that, right, most of us already have this physical facility required for nurturing and protection of the body of my relative. So in that sense, what is fundamental to this fulfillment in relationship is the understanding of relationship, is the understanding of feeling in relationship. If that happens, I can live with mutual fulfillment in relationship. And that is what we have said when we are talking about, you know, this uh, happiness and prosperity, the very first is this animal consciousness and human consciousness. We said that physical facility is required, you know, is essential, but relationship is also essential. Just by ensuring physical facility, you cannot ensure the fulfillment of relationship. Okay. So you need both physical facility and you need fulfillment in relationship. Then we said, we all want to ensure fulfillment in relationship. Because, but because of lack of understanding of relationship, right, we are not able to ensure fulfillment. And that was the meaning of it, right? That unless we understand relationship, unless we understand this feeling, right, we are not having this feeling in ourselves. Therefore, we are not able to ensure fulfillment in relationship. If only we had the right understanding, about the relationship, we will have this feeling and we can share it with others, ensuring mutual happiness, right? therefore fulfillment in relationship. So this is one point we have made till now. Then we said, if this is ensured, this is what we call justice. And this justice has to start with family. Right? 
but then we don't want to stop at the level of family. We want to expand it to higher and higher you know, level from family to family, group of family, to village to village, group of village and so on. And we want to go right up to the world family. And I asked you whether your natural acceptance is to ensure justice from family to one family or stop in there, you know, somewhere in between. So it is going right up to the world family. If this happens, this is what is called an undivided society. That is, you are not drawing any boundary in between, right? My family and the other family, my nation and the other nation, right? All these boundaries are to make sure that I am able to ensure this fulfillment in relationship at this level and then I am expanding further. Right? They are not the boundary to make me in a position with the other. So this continuity of relationship is there. These boundaries are only for the purpose that I am able to ful ensure fulfillment at this lower level so that I can further expand, you know, and ensure this fulfillment at the higher level. So this going from family to world family is what is termed as undivided. <coughs> and therefore I have asked you what is your natural acceptance? To be in undivided society or to have divided society? So this is what we talked about, the harmony in family, right? So let's see if there is any question on this. Otherwise, we'll switch over to harmony in society. Yeah. Thank you. I have been pondering on the feelings, nine, uh, nine feelings. Uh, I hope that uh, we will also be discussing about the negative feelings which are there. I don't know whether these are there. Uh, because it is inevitable as a human being to not to have the negative feelings. And uh, when we ponder on the, contemplate on the love, gratitude, reverence, care, affection, what is coming, uh, trust, what is coming in my mind is Sometimes by looking at the not natural acceptance, like suffering, when we look at the suffering, the love and compassion grows through the suffering, understanding of the suffering. Without understanding of the suffering, if we have a love, that love is not that strong. So, this is one way of looking at it. Uh, when I look at this suffering, what, when I look at, uh, let me explain my own position, example and experience. Uh, by virtue of my karma, my past deeds, probably, I'm born as a human being and born in Bhutan. And then I have been taken care of by government as well as by the parents. And because of that, I have risen up to the position of a secretary. And uh, when I was young, I always thought of money, power. Then when I started getting these positions and power and money, it brings, okay, I drive Land Cruiser Prado, put on a nice cloth, carry an iPad in my hand, an iPhone in my hand, and then when I put on a sword and a red scarf, honor given by His Majesty, there are priests who salute on me, then there are people that who try to open the door of my car. These things make your ego going up and up, unconsciously or consciously. So I try to begin that I'm a big man, I'm a, you know, these are there. So sometimes I think it is better to look at the sufferings of the people, negativeness. One has to be loved. Lots of Hitzel says that 
to know the suffering. And you have to be bitterly rejected by somebody else when you want to love somebody else. No? Then you know the suffering. This is. So by concentrating on the negativeness, that you get the good feelings. All these good feelings come through the uh, concentrating on the sufferings. But then here when we talk about the suffering, on the self verification and the natural acceptance, from there itself it says not accepted. So this is the confusion sometimes that I have. Uh, I'll stop here. Throughout that we have talked about, and further when we talk about, we are not talking about the negative feelings. <laughs> because these negative feelings are just the absence of these feelings, it's unnatural. And these negative feelings are there because we have not ensured the right understanding of these feelings. And we have not been able to ensure this feeling in us. Instead of this, through our preconditioning, we have been focusing on those you know, negative feelings which are essentially the absence of this. So now there are two possibilities. One is to let those feelings, you know, those negative feelings come to you through preconditioning. Right? Suffer from it. Right? Then try to work to get rid of them. Right? That is one way. The other way is to have the you know, right understanding then you know, have this understanding of this feeling, the right understanding of this feeling, and therefore ensure this feeling, and thereby ensure living in relationship with this mutual fulfillment. Right? Which one is better? What do you think? And what we have been doing traditionally. So this we have to see. So here very purposefully, right, we have not talked about any of those negative feelings, right, which is essentially the absence of this right feeling. Right? So this distrust or distrust is the absence of trust. Now what do I do? I allow this distrust to begin, you know, to be planted in me then suffer from it and then, you know, try to come out of it. Or I ensure the right understanding about the feeling of trust and therefore have the feeling of trust and therefore ensure mutual happiness by way of ensuring the fulfillment of this relationship, of this feeling of trust. Add both the options. Similarly, this feeling of disrespect, right? and feeling of disrespect. So what is significant? To get rid of the feeling of disrespect or to ensure the feeling of respect. So what out of these issues, the feeling of jealousy, what is it? 
the absence of affection. So if I have the feeling of affection, I will not have the feeling of jealousy. So instead of thinking of harming others, exploiting others, I will think of nurturing others. Instead of giving this guidance, I will think of giving the right guidance to the other. So if I have these feelings, right, then number one, I can deal with mutual fulfillment, mutual happiness. Number two, I will not have those negative feelings. This is better or let they have, they let, you know, you have these negative feelings, suffer from it, okay? Then try to come out of this negative feeling. <coughs> I need to clarify. <coughs> uh, the question I think I asked maybe, maybe a little bit misunderstood. What I am trying to say is that the feelings of these nine feelings are natural feelings. And uh, in order to get a trust, this uh, trust and respect and affection and care and guidance, glory, gratitude, love, <coughs> we need to, to, to look at the negative point of view. And if we understand this negativeness, like for example the love, the love is a sum of our suffering. If you, mother is the suffering. Through this suffering, that you begin to understand the real nature of the world. If, uh, if I give an example, our Buddha did not go under the penance for the love. Buddha was under the tree, under penance for six years. He was trying to understand the suffering of the world. By understanding the suffering of the world, then the love comes. This is what I trying to mean. If you look at the negativeness, all these nine feelings will be promoted. So, uh, in order to have a compassion feeling for others, if I go to, if I see the news in Africa, all the things are drunk, facing by drunk, people are so hungry, nothing to eat. When I concentrate on their suffering, then the love begins to come in me. This is what I'm trying to say. That is okay, you see. But by without my touching, image. but when it comes here, when we talk about the suffering, then it says that it's not natural acceptance. So from there, a, it goes out. So this is the little confusion for me. This is okay, you know, that my attention is drawn towards the fact that these negative feelings do not lead to happiness. They do not lead to my happiness. Yeah. Then do not lead to my happiness okay. and happiness of the other. So if my attention is drawn towards this fact, by way of negative feeling, that is okay. But now that my attention is drawn <laughs> towards this, what do I do? Do I work with this or I continue to work with the negative feelings or trying to get rid of the negative feelings? <coughs> what do I need to do? Let me give you an answer. Uh, we cannot really get rid of the negative feelings just by on the concentrating on the trust, respect, etc. To, in order to get rid of the good things and bad things, both good things and bad things, reality has to be understood. From my point of view, we need to understand the negative feelings. Can we really uh, get rid of the negative feelings? Just by concentrating on this, to get on this, you have to know the nature of the angerness, hatred, jealousy, all this negative things and the positive things. Both has to be, both are the feelings of the human being. When I have a self identity as an I, which is there already, so.
So that I is constant <coughs> from the I, both negative feelings and positive feelings will naturally flow. It <laughs> will naturally flow. So both has to be uh, uprooted. Then the actual self could be understood. Uh, just now, when we concentrate here, it gives me a feeling that yes, we must have a trust, respect. By these nine feelings, we could get rid of the anger, jealous, etc. It is said, but it is difficult to do it when you really experience within yourself. And uh, from from my point of view, uh, when we understand the the sufferings. Uh, because I feel that the suffering is the mother of the love. The love and compassion is born from the suffering by looking at the, like looking at the hungerness, suffering of the sentient beings, suffering of the others. Then the compassion begins very strong. But without uh, focusing on the uh, suffering, just trying to promote love is a little baseless. The basis of the very foundation of the love is the suffering, the realization of the suffering, realization of the reality. So I'm a little confused on this, if you could throw some light on this. Yeah, that's what I was saying, that if I got, you know, kind of sensitized by way of looking at the suffering of the people, and then I do some investigation and finally come up with this understanding of love and compassion. Then what will I do? Will I work for, you know, multiplying this love and compassion in everyone? <coughs> or I will do something else? Maybe more of a Western psychological understanding, but I agree with everything you're saying that these positive feelings and emotions are just a lack of the negative ones. That makes perfect sense to me. And so maybe this is more for extreme situations, but in the US in particular, if somebody is experiencing a lot of negative emotion and suffering, there's a sense that we need to acknowledge that and understand it before we can move into <coughs> cultivating these more positive emotions because otherwise the risk the risk would be that if we focus exclusively on cultivating these positive emotions that the suffering and the trauma that somebody might experience or the depression for that matter gets buried and gets stronger because it just goes deeper in trying to focus on developing the positive side without actually looking at the negative stuff, that that might just get buried and, and therefore stronger eventually. Yeah, that's okay. You see, I'm not uh, saying that if the negative feelings are there, you don't face them, right? Don't try to, you know, evaluate them, understand them, you know, and then, you know, overcome them. What I'm saying is that if I have to multiply okay, in a society through education and sanskar, okay, what is basic? To go by way of understanding of this you know, natural feeling and ensuring this feeling right, in every time, in every moment. Is that what we are going to do? and therefore ensuring that there will be living relationships of mutual fulfillment. Or we will talk about first the negative feelings, right? <coughs> then let them have this negative feeling, let them suffer, okay? and then try to help them to come out of this. <coughs> what is it that we will do? So of course, somebody is already suffering, right? You have to help him to understand. You also have to understand his suffering, right? Then you have to help him to come out of it. Right? And then finally get established in this. That's okay. Right? But then I'm saying, if I have to pass on, the path is on to the other person, right? To my child, to my next generation. Right? What am I going to focus on? 
on this or the essence of this. Right. So that's the question which is uh, being raised there. So, of course, when somebody comes with some you know problem and he talks to me you know, that I'm not doing well with my children, you know, and, you know like or with my Spouse. So I can I will certainly listen to him, share with him. Right? <coughs> I have to understand where things are going wrong, and then you know help him to see what is going wrong, and then also help him to see what is right, so that he can you know come out of his problem. All that I will do. But when it comes to you know propagating it, I, I know. Forwarding it as a way of life in the society. Right? What will I do? This or being in the absence of this? That is the question. So I certainly would listen to anybody who has some problem with it. And will have a lot of you know, this negative feelings and emotions and creating a whole lot of problems, right? Then I will have to see to him, listen to him, understand him, and help him to understand his negative feelings. Then also slowly help him to come out of it, you know. So all that will happen. But this is, we are saying, if it is a human society, right, it is living in relationship, you know, human relationship, how will it look like? Right? That has to be understood. That has to be passed to the next generation through education and sanskar. somebody out of this, okay. then we have to deal with that you know, problem which is causing him this tension, this depression, this unhappiness. Right? So what we do is we try to protest or indicate to him that it is not good to do. Okay. In fact, if you look at him, you will see 
he had bought this idea himself that it is not good to do and also it is good to do okay he is doing it because at some point of time he comes to decide that it is good to do okay. but if you ask him is it good to do it then no it is not good to do 